okay hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss in detail about electric field at any point due to charged solid sphere in our last class we have been discussed about electric field at any point due to charged spherical cell we found in detail we have been discussed we found at the outside point the field intensity magnitude will be this much on the surface and inside it will be zero graphical representation also we have been uh, we have been discussed and in this video or class we are going to discuss field intensity at any point due to charged sol solid sphere okay so let's start so to find out the electric field intensity due to charged solid sphere consider a solid sphere having the radius is r you just imagine this is a solid sphere okay then let the sphere is charged by plus q charge this is the total charge is distributed uniformly on the whole volume of the sphere like this the total charge is q charge is given to the solid sphere which is uniformly distributed inside the entire volume of this solid sphere let us consider the volume charge density of the sphere is your uh, rho r that is your charge per unit volume which is represented by for this case total charge enclosed by this sphere that is your q by total volume is your 4 by 3 pi r q so here volume charge density means charge per unit volume if this charge has been given to this entire volume having the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube so only for so hence for unit volume the value will be charge value will be this much q by total volume okay okay now first we are going to consider point is situated outside of this solid sphere that is your p o o means o for outside so to find out the electric field intensity at a point which is situated outside we have we are going, we have to consider a gaussian surface through that that point having the radius r0 is like this so to evaluate electric field intensity at point p O consider a Gaussian surface having radius R O. This is your Gaussian surface, 3D Gaussian surface. You just imagine this is third 3D uh, solid sphere, and this is your 3D Gaussian surface, which is encloses this entire sphere, which is charged by Q. Right now, by Gauss law, we know that the total electric flux passed through the 3d spherical surface here you have to remember always that this 3d spherical surface is nothing but <coughs> what we consider the gaussian surface this gaussian surface is the so called your 3d spherical surface okay so through this 3d spherical surface this one is represents the total flux which will be equal to charge enclosed by epsilon 0 this charge enclosed means enclosed by this gaussian surface right <clears throat> now as the this charge is given to this uh, entire sphere and the whole charge is distributed inside this sphere so electric lines of forces will be coming out from the sphere towards the outside like this okay and all the lines of forces will be passed through this gaussian surface right now if we are going to consider at any point a elementary surface suppose ds on this gaussian surface this ds direction will be along this direction and electric field intensity direction also along the same direction so this is eo direction along this way and ds also along same direction here if i am going to consider another ds 
this is your ds direction and this is your eo direction both are same direction or angle between them is your zero degree right if it is so then eo dot ds value will be how much here you can see this will be eo ds cos zero degree cos zero is your one e zero is the constant taken outside integration ds and this value is represent the total surface area of this gaussian surface so radius of this gaussian surface is your ro total surface area will be 4 pi r o square so eo into this is the total surface area of the Gaussian surface is your 4 pi r o square will be equal to q by epsilon 0 so here most important why it is q here q enclosed equal to q that means this q enclosed means how much charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface here you can see that this Gaussian surface is enclosed this entire sphere which is charged by q so obviously this gaussian surface enclosed this q charge so q by epsilon 0 q by epsilon 0 so we found eo that means electric field intensity at point po which is any point outside of this sphere will be this one 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r o square okay now we are going to go for the point which will be on the surface of the sphere so this is the outside the point is at outside and this is on the surface so named as ps and situated at a distance r capital r because we consider that the radius of the solid sphere is capital r if this point will be on the surface so obviously the distance from the center to this point will be capital r so to find out the electric field intensity at point p s any point on the surface we have to consider a gaussian surface which is exactly on the surface of this sphere so here i represented just above the surface you just consider that this gaussian surface which is a dotted circular line is on the surface of the sphere okay so if it is so to evaluate same thing it has been to evaluate electric field intensity at ps consider a gaussian surface having radius is capital r the total electric flux passing passing through this 3d spherical surface uh, here also again and again i am telling that 3d spherical surface means the 3d gaussian surface so through this gaussian surface this is the total electric flux will be charged enclosed total by epsilon 0 so first here you can see what will be the charge enclosed by the gaussian surface here you can see this gaussian surface inside this gaussian surface entire sphere is there so entire sphere is enclosed by this gaussian surface so entire sphere is charged by q so inside the gaussian surface the total charge is enclosed how much q q by epsilon 0 okay now here you can see this sphere is charged by positively positive charges so electric lines of forces will be away from this positive charge like this that means away from the uh, um, sphere so if it is so if we are going to consider any surface any surface elementary surface on this gaussian surface suppose this is your ds ds direction will be along this direction and this is your electric field intensity direction that is your es es means s is uh, named as as we are uh, trying to find out the electric field intensity on the surface so it is es named as es so es direction and ds direction ds is the any surface element on this gaussian surface have the same direction that means angle between them is zero degree you can consider over here itself this is the surface on the gaussian surface elementary surface ds direction is along this way and es direction also same direction 
angle between them is zero so dot product if we are going to consider this one dot product so es dot ds will be equal to e ds cos zero will be cos zero will be one so e ds e ds taken outside surface integration of ds that means this represents the total surface area of the gaussian surface having the radius is your capital r is how much this is a 4 pi r square so es into 4 pi r square this is nothing but total surface area of the gaussian surface equal to q by epsilon 0 so hence that implies electric field intensity at any point on the surface will be equal to 1 by this 4 pi r square taken to rhs then it will be uh, it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square okay okay now we are going to go for if the point will be inside the sphere here the point on the surface of the sphere inside the sphere which is named as pi on the surface inside the inside the sphere and the distance between the center to this point is your r i so to finding the electric field intensity at this point we have been considered a gaussian surface this one blue dotted line which is just passed through the observation point pi okay okay to evaluate the electric field intensity at pi consider a gaussian surface having radius ri okay so according to gauss law electric flux total electric flux passing through the 3d gaussian this is your gaussian gaussian spherical surface is equal to surface integration of ei dot ds equal to q enclosed by es here q enclosed many times i told you should not forget you have to remember q enclosed means enclosed by the gaussian surface total charge enclosed by the gaussian surface so here you can see the gaussian surface is radius is ri and the total charge whatever given to this uh, to, uh, solid sphere is uniformly distributed inside the volume total volume that is your 4 by 3 pi r cube of this solid uh, sphere but here you can see this gaussian surface gaussian 3d surface is not encloses the entire sphere it is encloses the part of the sphere having the radius is ri so how much charge is going to be enclosed by this gaussian surface that we are going to calculate but here you can see that e as this sphere is charged by positive charge so obviously electric lines of forces will be coming out from the from the center itself and we can found the lines of forces passed through passed through the gaussian surface okay and if we are going to consider any surface on the gaussian surface here ds 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 direction along this along this way and the so called ei ei direction also same direction that is angle will be zero you can consider over here also uh, a surface element on the gaussian surface this is your ds ds direction along this way and ei also along the same direction angle theta equal to 0 degree so here you can see the dot product between ei dot ds will be ei ds cos uh, 0 degree that is your ei ei into surface integration of ds surface integration of ds will be equal to this much this much means charged enclosed by epsilon 0 here we are going to find out charged enclosed by this gaussian surface already we found but or we know that volume charge density that means total charge by total volume for this case q by 4 by 3 pi r q is your rho so per unit volume per unit volume charge content by this solid sphere is your rho which is the function of r it is not multiplication it is the rho only rho means is the function of r 
okay so if this rho is the volume charge or charge content by unit volume then volume content by this small volume having the radius ri will be how much rho into 4 by 3 pi ri cube see this is your ri radius of this gaussian surface okay gaussian surface so volume of this gaussian surface will be how much 4 by 3 pi ri cube if per unit volume if i am going to consider a per unit volume means a, a small volume if i am going to consider over here in unit volume the charge is rho then for entire this volume having volume is your 4 by 3 pi r q will be how much 4 by 3 pi r q into rho simple so charge enclosed by this gaussian surface will be how much rho here rho is the function of r don't don't confuse that rho is multiplied with r no it is the rho is the function of r see if r will be increased then this rho rho will be decreased how see here you can see uh, for this r this much r so, so this much r the volume is this one so if the radius of the sphere will be increased suppose 2r then the charge density volume charge density will be 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi 2 capital r cube so denominator increased so volume charge density is going to be decreased so this volume charge density is the function of r for this case here charge enclosed by the gaussian surface will be how much rho into volume of the gaussian surface that is your volume of the gaussian uh, surface that is your 4 by 3 pi r i cube so this rho value already we know that is your q by 4 by 3 pi capital r cube just we have to substitute over here into 4 by 3 pi r i cube and we found q r i q by capital r q this surface integration is nothing but your charge enclosed by epsilon 0 charge enclosed we found charge enclosed by the gaussian surface we found q r i q by r capital r q so this value will be e i into surface integration of ds equal to 1 by epsilon 0 this value q r i q by capital r q that implies surface total surface total surface this this represents the uh, surface integration or total surface area of the gaussian surface having the radius is your ri so what will the value the value will be 4 pi ri square will be equal to this much 1 by epsilon 0 into q ri q by r q so that implies we found ei equal to this 4 pi ri square taken to the rhs we found ei equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q ri by capital r q so this is the value of electric field intensity at any point of a charged solid sphere okay now we are going to go for so here you can see that this ei is directly proportional to ri that means if this point is moving uh, towards outside up to on the surface then uh, the electric field intensity is going to be increased okay now we are going to go for uh, the representation graphical representation of the variation of the electric field intensity with distance so here you can see this is the point which is the outside of the sphere solid sphere on the surface ps inside the inside the solid sphere pi outside we found the expression that is your 1 by 4 pi epsilon q by r o square on the surface we found 1 by 4 pi epsilon the q by capital r square here capital r is the radius of the solid sphere and inside we found 
इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी इनक्रीजेस फ्रॉम द सेंटर ओके आउटसाइड इट इज गोइंग टू बी डिक्रीज बिकॉज इफ आर इज गोइंग टू बी इनक्रीज दिस डिनोमिनेटर इज गोइंग टू बी इनक्रीज सो ऑब्वियसली यू ओ वैल्यू आउटसाइड ऑफ दिस पियर इज गोइंग टू बी डिक्रीज बट दिस वन इज योर कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू वन बाय फोर पाइव सेवन इज कॉन्स्टेंट आर इज कॉन्स्टेंट क्यू इज ऑल्सो कॉन्स्टेंट सो ऑन द सर्फेस दिस वैल्यू इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू दिस वन ओके and here you can see if i am going to compare this value and this value this one is is the lesser as compared with this one that means this r0 sorry ro is greater than that of the capital r because the point is outside of of this sphere so ro is greater than that of the r so this value obviously less value as compared with this one so outside the electric field intensity is going to be decreased with 1 by r o square like this so if i am going to move from the surface towards uh, uh, outside of the outside point away from the away from the surface of this sphere then electric field intensity from this from this maximum value it will be grand it will be decrease gradually and if this value will be infinite this value will be zero so at infinite it will be zero as it is square it is there so along negative x axis direction also we are going to get the same behavior decreased with increased of distance from the surface of the sphere okay now we are going to consider uh, inside Here you can see one by four pi epsilon zero is the constant. Q by R Q is the constant value, but R I is the variable. So if I am going to put R I equal to zero, that means the point is at the center. The inside point, internal point is at the center. If R I is going to be increased, then this value is going to be increased. Suppose R I will be R, then this value will be equal to this much. okay r i equal to r means r r got cancel this value will be this much that, that means from the center from the center towards the surface the electric field intensity gradually increases like this so electric field intensity from the center towards the surface increases along along both the direction like this also magnitude magnitudically it is increases so if r i going to consider the positive along the positive x axis direction also it is increased from center to the surface and center to the surface so this is all about the graphical representation of the variation of electric field intensity with distance from the surface of the sphere from the center of the sphere solid sphere charged by q uniformly distributed over the volume okay in our next class we are going to discuss about electric field at point or any point due to charge infinitely long uniform solid cylinder so if you are going to consider a cylinder solid cylinder and going to give the charge q then this charge is going to be uniformly distributed inside this volume of the solid cylinder in detail we are going to discuss in our next class thank you so much for watching this video thank you